one. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of debugging. And the first thing we're gonna do is start by where we left off by uh, pulling from the repo. So let's copy this. Git clone from the branch. Webinar. And then we CD into it. And we yarn install. And we must remember some things here. Um, I have an older version open, so I'm going to just copy paste the stuff we did last time, the local properties, specifying the path. No, but this should be, this is, isn't this in the, in the old repo already? In the, in the repo that you cloned already? No, That's we didn't put it. Okay. All right. Um, so we have to put this in the Android first, local properties, specify my SDK. And then we need to put the .n file that's not here either. So I'll just go into the previous. Copy that. All right, cool. And make sure that um, everything is as we left it. Just a quick summary. We have the webinar API. We have the webinar screens. And then in the Redux, we have webinar. Handles our state. Okay, everything's good to go. So now we can go here, start the Metro server, and then open a new terminal. And we can run the Android. I already have my emulator open here, so we should see it launch in here. And like last time, this should crash. Can't oh. find variable webinar. Okay. Root screen component line 144. So we go to the root screen component. And here, this is a problem because we're not calling it webinar, we're calling it webinar screen. Ah, all right. Okay. So, okay, couldn't find one of the files. Yes. So that should solve that issue, but we're probably going to run into a few more here. We reload the app. So now you can see that we have the webinar test in our menu but it crashes. Can't find variable generated SK1. Where is the error? It 
in our component, it looks like. So we go to So I can't find this because it's not any it's not defined anywhere. So we're not supposed to be calling that one anyway. We're supposed to be calling Zen call Zen room. Go away. God damn it, let me double click. Damn, this is annoying, bro. Yeah. Yes. All right. So that should fix that problem. All right. Reload it. Is it done complaining? All right. Good. Good. So now we see what we've done. Webinar example should result. And this is what executes yeah. the action. Yep. Try, try and press it. We execute it. On press is not a function. So let's go to the, to the Redux store and to the action and see what's going on here. And this is a function we're calling that's not working properly. So we're going to clean this up a bit. Obviously, we have. We don't need this dispatch. We don't even have this action. So we're going to delete that. This is duplicated. So we're going to remove the duplicates. We don't need so many of them. Um, in the catch, we can use the debugger. Just in case we get an error, we can see what it is. Something went wrong in webinar center. OK, let's see if it keeps complaining here. Yes. So it's still not liking the way this works. First, let's delete these. We don't need them. So let's see where this is being called. This is being called in the webinar container. And we're calling it here, call Sandroom. And since we're already calling dispatch, we won't need the dispatch. Um, and we just need call Zen room. Let's see if that fixed it. Okay, so it's working. It's executing all right. Yeah. Now we're seeing the we're seeing this result, but that's because the contract we're using, I don't think uh, I don't think we're using the right version what? of of Zenroom right now. What is the contract that we're executing? So let's see, we're executing this key pair, key pair gen. So just to test that now this should every, work. This this but, should give uh, should give an output. All right, but just just to make sure that everything is working as with the DP3T, we know that works. So let's just use this contract mm -hmm. just to test. So we want to see the result of the send room execution yep. here. Yeah. Yeah, I think that it just, uh, it just not being printed out. Hmm. Okay. So let's go yeah, back that, to that the contract should have worked. All right, all right. Let's go to the component, call Zen room, result.
Let's see something here. Maybe it has something to do with. Let's see how we did it here. That seems like we did it the same way. Mm. Let's see, maybe the way we're calling the dispatch is different. Ah, yes, let's do it this way. So we want a super simple dis, we, we don't want anything to do with the dispatch here. So we're just gonna call Zenroom in this object. All right, let's see. Okay, so this yeah. this contract is working. Perfect. But let's go back and change the contract to the key pair one. Yep. This one. Yep. Reload. No, it doesn't like the ECDH. E that should work. Yeah, okay, could be a try. Okay, try instead of ECDH, write simple. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. It was okay. indeed, it was indeed using an older version of Zenroom. All right. Uh, so uh, please write back ECDH in the code because that is the code that works uh, with the current version of Zenroom. So now we prove that it worked, and I'm gonna stop the recording here. Okay.